Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're going to be playing some more of the Arena Weekend Event Giant Monsters, aka Play All Your Big Stuff, Draw Cards event. Uh, so this event here is one of their special kind of like singleton stuff like that. Um, so whenever you play a creature with converted mana cost 4 or greater, you get to draw a card. So we've already played a Simic Hydra list and a Rakdos kind of mid-range dragons, big like mythic smashers um and now we're playing so this is a deck that i've been working on for constructed uh so i've made a couple tweaks to it for this event uh because we've been playing a lot of green based decks so just like uh rip Drop raptors uh null hide ferox just stuff like that so this is a bant blue red blue white uh green uh, Prime Speaker Vanifar deck. So Vanifar is basically the card birthing pod. Uh, so you can tap her and sacrifice another creature and then search your library for a card with converted mana cost one more than that creature. So what this means is our deck is a toolbox. We can search for whatever we need in that specific situation and just take advantage of a lot of enter the battlefield style effects. Um, so a lot of what I try to do is in this deck here, we have like our ramp package. So we have Lionel Wells, Paradise Druid, Elvis Rejuvenator. Fibblethip is card draw that if we sack an elf and get it from our library, we get two card draws. Neoforms, like copies uh, five and six uh, of Vanifar and can also help us pull Vanifar. We have Deputy Det Detention to exile opponent's creatures. We have Risen Reef to ramp and give us card draw. Uh, we don't have too much in terms of elementals. But it's just a good card, like even if it just comes in, potentially ramps or draws us, and then we get uh, to continue on. Uh, we have Shalai for protection, and we can generate quite a bit of mana with this deck, so then her second ability at times does become relevant. She can also protect our Prime Speaker and other creatures. Uh, I'll go back to Spark Double in a sec, because it's one of my favorite interactions with the deck. Uh, Elite Vanguard, similar to Risen Reef, comes in, draws us a card, gains us some life. And then we have Gotta Eternal Aketra, so this is pretty much what I'll get at the 5 drop slot all the time. And then just every creature you cast just cre creates 4-4 four, four zombies. Then we got a 1 of package of a couple things. Lyra is good for life gain. Uh, Biogenic Ooze is when we need to go wide. Cavalier of Thorns is when they have flyers. We can um, deal with that as well as just kind of ramp us further. Trustani is against the uh, mass manipulation decks. Tolzmir is removal on a stick with 2 creatures. And Rolex is a way for us to put counters on things and make things bigger. Um, so Spark Double is really awesome in this deck because you can clone God Eternal Ketras, you can have multiple Liras, you can have multiple Prime Speakers going. So it's a really cool way to kind of abuse this synergy with the deck. Um, don't worry about the sideboard, that's for my actual ranked one. I'll be putting out a constructed video on that in the near future. Um, but let's play some games. Um, the format's been pretty green based um it's really a lanowar elf format i have run into some people just playing like let's play mono red um but overall it's been pretty fun it's a little bit different gets you to be creative in terms of your deck building uh so let me know in the comments too what you've been playing i'm trying to get as many unique decks for this format up uh so probably do one more after this And then if you missed any, uh, you can check back on the YouTube channel. If not on um, Aetherhub, all my deck lists are posted there, as well as any articles in the future that I'll be writing for the site. Um, I'm going to mulligan. This hand doesn't really do much. This hand's much better. So I'm actually fine putting Lyra back in. So, probably go Rejuvenator next turn. Or just play out all our elves. We didn't need to shock ourselves there. 
I was thinking if we were playing Elvish Rejuvenator. My mistake. So this is Mardu Angels. Okay, so we got a Ketra, which is fantastic. And we have Spark Double, which can copy Oketra. So, our board state might just be coming together a little too late. They got a lot of power in the sky. And the unfortunate thing is our lands are quite painful. Yeah, so we actually can't do both. We're dead regardless. So, a little bit of an awkward draw there. Had we known that we were playing against a flying deck, we would have kept the Lyra. It's unusual to draw five shock lands, no check lands. Uh, this ends much better. Turn three prime speaker, play Fibblethip, sack Fibblethip. I usually go and get Risen Reef, so. Ooh. Okay, so. Some sort of. Golgari mid-range reanimator perhaps well they've hit their galtas let's see if they put a land back on top no blocks here Okay, so we have the deputy. Deputy could clean up if we need to. It does fill their graveyard, but want to keep the life total high enough. Okay, so it is reanimator. So here, we can go Elite Vanguard into Oketra. That buys us a turn as well with our life total, so we can take the six damage. No attacks here. Next turn we can go... We'll have availability to 6 mana. So we could either Deputy and Risen Reef, or we can... Yeah, probably do that. Play the Risen Reef and then get Shalai. That's scary. So we're gonna take 12. Okay, so we got the other Deputy of Detention. They have another Galta in the yard. That is scary. Um, can go Fibblethip. 
Oh, they just concede. Would have gone Fibblethip, sack it, get um, just like one of the ramp spells. Cool, got that one. Could also start trying to like spark double all the deputy of detentions. Birthing Pod was my first deck in Modern before it got banned. I love that deck. Went from Birthing Pod to Treasure Cruise Delver. <laughs> Basically all the decks I love got banned. So then I stopped playing Modern. Now all I have is a Black White Gideon Super Friends deck. So we're gonna go Risen Reef here. I was hoping for a land so we didn't have to shock. Okay, so it's pretty solid nonetheless. Yeah. Opponent can't overcome that. We just go get Oketra and then start swarming the board. Sweet. I'm gonna have to post on uh, the Insta my Instagram page, uh, my modern deck. I haven't upgraded it since, Whew, when was the last time? I haven't done any of the Ravnica sets. I haven't done more of the Spark. So it's probably a lot to upgrade to the deck. It's basically like three mana Gideon, four mana Gideon, a uh, couple other ones, Lingering Souls and a bunch of removal. Throw on some Sorens, like the OG Super Friends. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. Breeding Pool, Lana Whirl into Rejuvenator, go get um, Vanifar. In this format, you pretty much keep whatever hand has turn one elf. All right, opponent, what will you do? What will you do? We're going through a heat wave in uh, Canada right now. Tomorrow is supposed to be 45 degrees with the Humidex Celsius, which is just ridiculous. Cool, got the land. So I can neo form. Okay, so I can neo form and play Fibblethip. So let me attack first. Opponent's showing blue-white. I wonder if they're playing a control deck. Cool. Elite Guard Mage will go get us our Ketra. And then we can start building up our go-wide strategy. See what the opponent's on. Oh. An Esper player. Someone's playing Esper Control. All right. Uh, so we'll go to attacks. Play out Elite Guard Mage. Draw another card, and then we'll set up a Ketra. I wonder what they're them struggling on mana if we just get Biogenic Goose. I think we just do that. That way we don't overcommit to a board wipe. And then I can just pump mana into it.
Opponent's missing black mana. So do they go after the Prime Speaker or Biogenic? No, I am not making this up as I go. It's probably okay. So let's see, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can do Risen Reef and Prime Speaker this turn. Just get Teferi off the board. Stanny, set this up. Much we'll past turn. Probably upgrade an elf. So, what I'll probably do is Neoform for Risen Reef and then sack the elf. Uh, opponent's dead. Before we overthink this, four, five, six, seven, ten. Four, five, six, seven, ten. <laughs> Before we get all fancy and then realize we just had lethal on the board. All right, another win. So, try to grab one more to get the rare wild card. Got the mythic uh, three mana blue planeswalker. I always forget her name. Out of my prize pack yesterday, which was awesome. This hand does nothing. This hand's a little bit better. Um, gonna get rid of the guard mage right now. Second night, second paradise druid isn't bad. All right, we're against big green dumb things. Shifting Ceratops. It's unfortunate. Wanted the land there. And Tender Shoot. Yeah. We lost this one. So here, and then just set up. So we'll have enough lands for a catcher next turn. Gonna have to take one more hit from the shifting ceratops. Can this give Trample? Of course it can. <laughs> this card's really good. No blocks. I got Null Hide. <laughs> Angalta. Yeah, we're dead. We are dead, kiddos. Fight the Druid. Is there any reasonable way? Throw some damage in front of there. So we like block there, block there, block there. Let's try it.
So we block here. Block here, block here. They give it trample to 911. So if they see it, they give it trample. Yep. Ah, that one's unfortunate. So I think what we need in this deck, and I'll run it back for another one. Uh, the Fibblethips are okay. The Risen Reef probably in this build don't need. Um, what's its name? The one that bounces. Just as a tempo play. Uh, it's the wizard. Ah, exclusion mage. Maybe a frost lynx. And then... What else can we add? Um, it's the part where, because we're not in black, we don't get the straight removal. No one's playing instance or sorceries. And there's the cavalier in green that when it dies, it creates some more bodies can play that one. Uh, what's its name? Ah, oh, this guy. Conclave Cavalier. I don't think we want Rolesk. Doesn't do enough. I think we want more go wide stuff. The Benthic Biomancer. It's probably where we want to be. Um, this one, memorizing behemoth, the theme. Just do that. Run it like that. Cool. So we'll run it through another go round of the deck. I really like this deck, so... Ooh, Kaya's Wrath. Or Oath of Kaya. Thought I had a full set, but... We'll take it. Nope. Wanna go Giant Monsters again. Monster Pod. Run it back. Force it, this format forces you to like build a little different because it's just like Galta decks everywhere. Just play on more ego named Galta. This hand's very slow. Keep. You go away. Yes, please. Hoping to hit a line there. Cool. So we'll play her out, play something, uh, and then. Oh, Deputy of Detention here. 
That's gonna be sweet. So Playoketra. Back here. Get a deputy of detention. Yoinks, I will take both of you. Next turn, we have availability of five mana. We'll probably just do Cavalier Thorns. We could take a turn and set up double Oketra, which might be best. Makes any creature draw just ridiculous after. Okay, so we got another land. So let's see. That uh, that's four mana. So we'll get the card draw off Spark Double. Ooh, and a Neo form. I would love another one of you, please. Play this tapped. And this is where it starts getting fun. I will like a Fibble Thip, please. And yes, I would like to draw two cards. If this is an entrancing melody deck, we have the Tristani. Did they just miss the land twice off Growth Spiral? Whatever's in their hand, they're loaded. But even Anissa is not that great here because you're off. Oh, Flood of Tears. They don't get the Omniscience. Okay, so that really messed with what we were doing. Uh, I gotta discard three cards Paradise Druid, Paradise Druid, Fibble Thip. Another Risen Reef. So they are getting to the point they could just hard cast Omniscience if they're playing it. Let's see what they go with. Yark Wave Crasher. Interesting interaction there. 35 cards. I think we just throw out Oketra. The Frilled Mystic as well. Okay, well, we'll just set up an Oketra turn. Um, I'm just going to Neoform the Paradise Druid. Just try to get some more ramp going. No 
attacks there. Just want to get more lands out so, so we can play some stuff. Just be mana efficient. Alright, so this is their omniscience. What can they do? Double Risen Reef. Do they mill themselves out? <laughs> Flock a worm. We can exile their omniscience if need be. They can start cycling wave crashers and draw their whole deck. That's actually a cool interaction. Get omniscience out. Do your wave crashers have a Jace and win? Well, we're going to try that after. I like that a lot. This makes you return another creature. These trigger with the Risen Reef. 23 cards. Okay. So you get those. Let's see what they do. Okay, so they went through Jace. We'll let the opponent have their fun. Yeah, because now they just do that. They have the loop. They'll get through. I just wanted to see the Jace, if that's how they won. That's a sweet deck. Cool, cool decks. We'll have to try that out. I don't think I have any Flood of Tears. Uh, a little awkward. We don't have Elf on one, but we'll keep... Oh, we do have Elf on one. It's better to be lucky than good. Better to be lucky than good. Opponents on the growth chamber plan. We'll play out a rejuvenator here. Get another land. So we might just be able to go with like Shalai, pump a bunch of mana. Just block here. So they'll get another growth chamber. We'll kill the next one that comes down. Ooh, actually, Deputy of Detention's great for the the following turn. Uh, I need a white source for Shalai. And Cavalier. So I'm going to take the 4 damage next turn. They play out Growth Chamber. We Deputy them.
No blocks. So we can deputy. And then just play this tapped so we don't take the damage off it. I don't think you want to be doing the growth chamber plan. They don't draw cards. Congrats, you don't get to fight it. But mine gets to fight yours. Draw into another deputy. Take him out there. Uh, we'll just play a temple garden tapped here. So we can start just pumping with Shalai. One, three, four, seven. Uh, yeah, we, were, they had we had lethal next turn with the Shalai pump. Got the win there. Druid and Fibblethip. Yeah, we'll keep. Oh. Wow. F four mana turn two. Oh, they kept a one lander. Oh, they have all the lands in the world. So hopefully they adapt incubation and then I'll just exclusion mage it. Set him back a turn. Just bounce the land. No blocks. I don't think Prime Speaker does enough here. Tap there. Quite far behind. That's a crazy draw they had. Because the thing is, even when they just get a ton of mana, they just pump it into this ability and then they start making these elves into a formidable. You know what? I do appreciate this round. People are bringing unique takes. Not just, I play Galta, you play Galta, we all play Galta. Four mana. Just Anthem this turn, or... I don't think we could win this one. Because even Lyra doesn't do much at this point. Hydroid Crisis. loose on the opponent's side. Do not assume 
Uh, I can attack and use the mana from incubation. So probably just reset that. I don't think we fibble thip and Vanifar. Vanifar can't get Lyra this turn because everything's three converted mana costs. I'll just play out the Cavalier next turn. It's a big body. Or just straight up get wrecked. The land for us. Trust Annie off the top one time. Trust Annie off the top. Not trust Annie. Yeah, we're dead. Well. When your opponent ley lines into triple mana dorks into Nisa on turn three, you pretty much lose. Let's see what we got. Nothing too exciting. So I'll wrap this one up. I'll come back with another one shortly. Um, might I think we might do a reanimator deck perhaps. Could be interesting. Maybe like Abzan Reanimator. Just play a bunch of board wipes and that could be cool. We'll try it out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Helps out the channel and you can catch everything that I'm producing on YouTube and Aetherhub.